Hi, I'm Samantha, and I'm here today with Roland Arnold, one of Arizona Tile's amazing outside sales representatives in Scottsdale, Arizona. And he's gonna help us answer the age old question of which countertop is right for me, granite, yeah. quartz, or quartzite? We get this question consistently. Uh, so it is a broad question. So where would you like to start? Well, why don't we start with the basics? Okay. So what's the difference between the materials? What are they made of? Um, and what is the color range of each type of material? Okay, well, uh, I have a quartzite right in front of me, so we'll just start with that. Okay. So uh, this particular color is Calicata quartzite. Uh, quartzite has a tremendous amount of quartz deposits in the rock, therefore making it very, very hard and somewhat different than granite. It's a different species of stone altogether. Okay. But one of the characteristics that it has is that it's almost marble-like appearance. But because of the quartz contents in the material itself, it's extremely dense, very durable, and tends to be a little harder overall. Uh, there's exceptions to every rule and every statement, <laughs> but this is a natural stone. Uh, it, it does have some resin, uh, some resin fill, Okay. In it. Now, pitting is not a common occurrence with quartzite okay. as it is with granite. Okay. So uh, resin screening technology was developed that puts a very thin layer of resin over the surface of the material to fill in the little pits and the little fissures that naturally occur in all granites, okay. fissures in quartzites, not pits. Mm -hmm. And it does away with that. So it's very, very smooth and very, very shiny, the polish Beautiful. on it. Now, keeping in mind that the polish on any surface is only as hard as the material itself. Therefore, the polish on a quartzite, the density of the material mm -hmm. and the hardness of it, the polish is very, would be very difficult to um, harm the polish on this. Okay. It could scratch, you could scratch it, but you'd have to work pretty hard at it uh, it's not going to scratch from daily use, from right. natural wear and tear, so to speak. Uh, it's not really a factor. Now, conversely, granite is heat resistant and heat tolerant, but has a little bit more resin in it. So therefore, not as heat resistant as a quartzite. So you're probably not going to put a hot skillet right off of your cooker directly onto this countertop, you're probably gonna to wanna to use a, a, a trivet. It can't actually harm the stone. It can't harm the rock itself. But there is enough resin in this that you certainly don't wanna burn it or damage it. Now, color ranges. Color ranges in quartzites and granites are all over the map. They're from whiter whites, especially in quartzites, you can get whiter whites. Okay. But we can get into very, very rich colors as well. Uh, deep blues, uh, tweedy blacks, uh, mm. terrific color ranges. Beautiful. But they're more a little, it tends to be a little more saturated across the color range. Now, when you get into granites, we can get into a little bit whiter whites, but they're granular because of the crystal structure in this material. So the whites aren't as white as the quartzites. They're a different kind of white. Okay. And because of the granular uh, makeup, and the crystal makeup of this, the whites are just structured differently. But then from there, right on down the gamut, rich greens, blues, browns, very rich browns, and very, very saturated blacks. Awesome. And I noticed with these um, quartzites that we have here that they're kind of um, more consistent in color than this specific granite sample. I agree with that. Um, I think that one characteristic of the quartzite is definitely that you get a washier appearance, a little bit more of a fluid uh, uh, look, um, almost marble-like okay. uh, across the color range. So it, it is very, very appealing to that homeowner that likes the look of a marble kitchen. Mm -hmm but is a little leery of putting a softer stone in a harsher work environment. Okay. Definitely. Got it. And then so granite, is it always gonna be kind of speckly or can you get more of like the marble look in a granite? In darker colors, you definitely can, but overall you're gonna have more of a granular structure in a granite okay. than you would in a quartzite. Absolutely. Got it. Yeah. Okay. 
Well, what about, um, is this a quartz product here? So quartz product here and here. So there's a polished quartz, one of our newer introductions, the Calicata Miranda. So a man-made quartz, and this is a common question that we get uh, daily, especially in-house. Mm -hmm. We get the question all the time, what's the, what's the difference? People confuse quartz with quartzite okay. all the time. Understandable. Very understandable. Mm -hmm. And if you look it up on the internet, there's a lot of misinformation there. Mm -hmm. So we definitely say you could arm yourself with a little bit of information on the internet, but then come and ask the experts. That makes sense. Yes. <laughs> so from there, I would say, okay, so here's the main difference. Quartz is always man-made. It's of mostly natural materials, quartz. Mm -hmm that goes into the structure of this. But a polymer resin compound is the binding agent, the glue, so to speak, that holds this together. Okay. So the man-made structure of this is that there's no fissures, there's no pitting. Now, because of the resin and the polymers in this, there it's not quite as shiny, one may notice. Mm. The polish isn't quite, it's a, it's a level down, so to speak, from like a quartzite or a granite or even a marble. Okay. But it's extremely consistent and it's extremely hard and it's probably the most stain resistant material that we carry outside of a, a porcelain floor product. Okay. So for the countertop as it stands now, mm -hmm. quartz is definitely the hardest, most uh, stain resistant uh, surface that we carry. Okay, so that can be a really appealing feature for someone with a busy definitely. family kids in the kitchen yeah. and supervised type yes, of situation. Yes, exactly. Okay. Exactly. And as our surfaces now are doing double, triple and quadruple duty now more than ever before, these questions and concerns come to the forefront in in a bigger way and they're just more important now. Mm -hmm. So, a quartz again just to recap, highly stain resistant, but one important feature to remember, not a drawback, but just something to remember. Quartz is not heat resistant. And it's because of that binding agent, that resin and polymer mixture compound that is, like I mentioned before, the glue that holds it together, that is not heat resistant. Okay. So where we're using this material, uh, granites and quartzites inside and outside, typically covered outside, especially um, we're taping this in Arizona and our UV Directs pretty high. Pretty high. <laughs> yeah. So in covered environments, you're totally fine. We do have a list of materials that can be used in uncovered environments, which we can get into in another time. But inside, outside, okay. inside, anywhere, covered, outside, inside for quartz, not outside. Okay. It's highly the it's highly susceptible to UV damage. So you're not putting this outside and it's not heat resistant. I wanna reiterate mm. that. So almost anything on a quartz can be repaired. A scratch, um, if it did happen to stain, if something, something untoward happened where you did stain it or scratch oh. it, or even chipped it, it could be repaired. Oh, that's nice. It is, and it's a great feature. Yeah. But burns can be a little bit more iffy. So you're always using a trivet, you're always using some kind of protector. Even in the bathroom, I don't like uh, flat irons. I don't oh. like curling irons on it. See, that's something I wouldn't have even thought of. Right, the, the intense, Good that intense know. direct heat directly on there, mm -hmm. it could end up looking like a cigar burn. So it's something that you want to avoid. Mm -hmm. Now, conversely, I know that this is, we mentioned this is good for busy families. Definitely. Granite and quartzite, are those something that if you have, you know, 10 year old kids at home that are making hot dogs on the weekend, is that yeah. still safe? I feel confident with either okay. stone, Tru truly I Great. do. Great, and what if something were to stain your stone if you put it in your mm. um, kitchen, what can you do about that? Right. Is there anything that can be done about that? There are, there are things that can be done about it. These things can be addressed. So one thing uh, definitely is, uh, First of all, just let the stain, depending on what it is, let the stain, after you clean it up and there's something there, let it breathe itself out. Okay. Give that a few days, see how much it lightens. Okay. If it doesn't lighten to your liking, um, always use a poultice. We stock it, we stock it all the time, and we can get into that another time, but pull over the counter poultices are dry mix. Uh, you follow the instructions on the label, 
you apply it to the surface, it will um, almost always draw that stain out of it. So now on a quartzite, you know that that stain is not deep. Okay, because it's so durable. Exactly, like said, it's so okay. dense. You know that stain in all likelihood is not deep. So the odds of a poultice taking that stain out are very, very good. Great. In a whiter granite where you did happen to see a stain, mm -hmm. odds are still pretty darn good that you're going to get that stain out. Awesome. Yeah. What about quartz? Does it stain? Uh, can it stain? It can, but again, you'd have to work really, really hard at it. Okay. Now, everyday cleaners on quartz, I really like scrubbing bubbles oh, uh, cool. for something that's very stubborn. Okay. But a microfiber cloth, just remember, a microfiber cloth slightly dampened on any of these surfaces work beautifully for every day. That's all awesome information, Roland. Good. I love it. We've covered the day-to-day -day maintenance of Good. these materials. I think that's very informative. Um, in terms of like a more long-term care for these products, mm -hmm. is there anything that people should know? So all natural stones uh, should be sealed at the time of installation. Typically it's a penetrating sealer. It disappears. In, in, it embeds itself in the body of the stone. It doesn't leave a residue. So right. what happens is, is a lot of people get confused with uh, man-made quartz. They will go in on polished man-made quartz and they'll assume that a sealer needs to be applied. Mm -hmm. That is, is absolutely incorrect. You do not seal a polished man-made quartz. Okay. Ever. Now that will leave a residue on top and it's very, very difficult to remove mm, and get Interesting. Off. And you don't want that in your food. And you do not want okay. that on a work surface. Okay. So now there's a couple of exceptions to that, like our Metropolis series, for instance. This is a concrete, uh, a kind of a hybrid concrete limestone look. The Metropolis series is a beautiful range of colors, mm -hmm. but as you'll notice, it has a slightly satin or leather like texture. Sure. Oh yeah even some like divots in there. That's it's beautiful. quite nice. Uh, mm -hmm. the, the shade variation in the Metropolis series in colors it, of, like this uh, have some variation in it. Uh, very beautiful. This takes a penetrating sealer, but it's one time. Okay. Oh, not like routine? That, no, no okay. routine. So this on your granite, quartzite, and the marble, Occasionally, you can wipe some more sealer on it, especially in high use areas. High use areas being mainly uh, where your kitchen sink is. Okay. Because you're wiping that all the time. Mm -hmm. Remember, a sealer just sits in your stone and it waits for you to need it. Okay. So next to your cooker, mm. next to your kitchen sink, on a very busy kitchen island where you're wiping all the time, you okay. may want to reapply that. And that's something a homeowner can do themselves. Okay. And very easy to do. Great. Polished, man-made quartz, no sealer. Okay. Metropolis and Metropolis-like quartz, man-made quartz, does take a penetrating sealer, but again, one time at the time of installation, one and done, they're good to go. So Roland, another yes. question that we hear sometimes okay. is with specifically homeowners who have larger kitchen islands yes. or longer expanses of countertops. I know what's coming. Exactly. I know How what's coming. are these countertops going to match <laughs> up? Is it going to look right. good? Are you going to notice the same right. where it right. matches up? And how do you manage that? Okay. So across the board, no matter what we're talking about, again, just to reiterate, quartzites, granites, and all sorts of man-made quartz. Okay. Seams common, you're gonna have a seam somewhere. So all seams um, in natural stone can be felt and seen. You can feel them with your finger, you, you can see them. Um, they're minimal, they're tight, they're very small. Uh, with book matching stones, they're very difficult to, they don't disrupt the flow of the material at all. Okay. Oh. Um, a little bit more care is taken in seaming man-made quartz because odds are, especially in a marble look, they do not book match. So a little bit more care is taken uh, in seeming that. But again, you're going to be able to see it. You're going to be able to feel it. They're going to be there. Okay. But they're small. They should never separate. Okay. Ever. 
and won't require again it, they won't require any kind of uh, maintenance on a homeowner's part okay but so they no do, like additional care generally your food's no, not getting stuck in there no you don't have to worry uh, too much virtually about that. impossible okay yeah fabulous well thank you roland um i think that's awesome information for every homeowner good, to good. have um definitely gives us a good overview of the difference okay. of these materials i appreciate you educating us today absolutely my pleasure be sure to check out some more of our videos yeah. so you can learn more about our materials and learn about the maintenance of those materials as well. Yeah, please do. And bye, everybody.